hello 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 welcome to Becky's House of Sewing um, it is April 20th 2022 and it is Wednesday so we are done with Wednesday stitching today um, my mother made a magnificent return after being sick for a couple weeks um, I'm glad you're feeling better mom and it was uh, nice to see everybody Marsha had been um, away for a little bit because of Lent. She had some extra volunteer work that she did at her church. Um, we still didn't have everybody, um, but it was great to see those who were there. So, um, happy, happy, happy Wednesday. Happy stitching day. Um, I took a sneaky day off yesterday. It was great. Um, it was really challenging because my goal was just to stay home. I don't get to stay home that often. Um, I'm always at work. We have family stuff that we do on my days off. So I don't get a, like a day just to be home. Um, so I, my goal was to stay home, do stuff, putts around the house, course sew, uh, break out the needles and threads. Um, Oh, and I was going to bring my list in and tell you what I put on it. I'm sure I can remember it. Um, so there were a couple times where... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Ooh, ooh, attack! Attack of the Becky! Um, everything's okay. Um, everything's all right now. Ugh. Okay. So, um, though I had plans to stay home, of course there are things that come up and things I wanted to do. There's a... Um, the stitch and frame shop is closing, so I thought I might take advantage of having a weekday off and go over there. I'm like, no, you have to stay home. You have to enjoy yourself at home. Um, then my coworker asked me to go to dinner. I was like, ah, I really want to, but I need to stay home. So there are a couple of like errands I could run and things I could. I was trying not to do, um, and I successfully did them. Victory was mine. Um, so I was able to stay home and I made a list of things I wanted to do the sewing room. Because uh, that was my main goal. Like, I just didn't... My sewing room was... I needed to do things before I could sew. So I, um, as my mother always says, you should always clean up after yourself so that you actually want to come back in and do some sewing. So... I needed uh, to clean up a little bit because I couldn't see the floor. I was walking on top of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. So I made a list of things I wanted to do. So I wanted to um, pick up the floor. Check. Um, I wanted to cut some more fabric. Mm, I didn't do as much of that. I wanted to organize some of the surfaces, um, which I, I still didn't quite do. Um, but I have plans and um, the my three-tiered cart I wanted to clean out the bottom of it because it did just become like a little bit of a dumping ground Ooh, people might be mowing I have the window open let's see how that goes might enjoy some extra noise lucky guys um, anyway destruction so um, I got the floor cleaned up. I was able to sit down. I found an old project that I uh, slapped on the board. I had taken a class with um, Carol Lyle Shaw, which uh, some of you may know her. Um, she's a pretty renowned quilter, professional quilter. Uh, been in a lot of shows, has a great newsletter. Highly recommend her. Um, but we had her come to our guild in Charlotte and she taught a class called Improv Circles, um, where she teaches you how to do those little circly things. And then she had a couple layouts, um, but I did all that stuff and kind of stacked all the materials I used together and promptly walked away from it. So as I got it, got everything kind of organized and picking things up, I discovered it. I was like, ooh, I bet you I could just cut some eight and a half inch squares and call it a day. So that's what I did yesterday. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I also did my FFO. 
Look how cute that is. See, it doesn't look much better with a little leg in there. Okay, funny story. So I was so excited about being done with this before I realized that I had missed a portion of it um, that I used the remaining thread to uh, do some mending on my jeans because it matched so well. So now I'm like, oh no, what do I do? So I used um, some of my token of fall um, thread to do that, which is also variegated, but it's not the same variegation, but anyone who gets that close and and critiques that, um, you can defriend me immediately. <laughs> so I did um, the old Lori Holt trick. Ooh, I might have to do some hand sewing. Might need some glue on that. Um, I don't think I gave myself enough margin. Anyway, I digress. So I um, put everything together. I did uh, tack down the pom-poms so that I could um, sew them in. I didn't want to hand sew them in. I wanted them to be inside the thing, be, be really close. I like it when the pom-poms are super close. Um, and then I put the backing fabric on and I then cut into it so I could flip it over. So I did the, I sewed around the whole square like Lori Holt, Holt teaches you to do. Um, and then I had some of this fabric from, I took a collage quilting class also like three or four years ago. Um, and I had some leftover material that was already um, got the fusible on it. So then I just ironed it on there to cover the hole up. Cute, huh? I like it. Um, so, totes adorbs. And then, um, I didn't really do a lot of sewing on my um, Mrs. Campbell. Let me get Mrs. Campbell out because I have it currently turned to the page. So I'm working on it. I can't show you the chart, but here's Mrs. Campbell. So pretty, right? Keep your work clean and pay attention to it. Anyway, um, I do really like using these. Um, I have gotten um, a whole page almost done. I'm like two thirds of the way done. So this is what two thirds of a page looks like. So I have 20 of those pages to do. So what's left to do is um, there's a, a border here there's an alphabet and another border and the beginning of some Algerian eyelids. So that should be fun. Um, so far I like working on the silks. I uh, brought in the silks to give you my um, opinions on them. Okay, so here's one thing. They're louder than cottons. Not necessarily a bad thing. I think it's definitely the choice of my container. Um, I really wish there was something a while back about um, a thing to hold your silks in. And I think it was another, a product designed for something else that uh, sewists were using. And it was like a silicone mold. But for the life of me, I can't find it on, um, I know Nicola Parkman on her YouTube. Who sells this? Hands across the seat YouTube. Um, I know she talked about it, but I can't find it. Anyway, uh, here's one of the one of the spools. And what's lovely about them is that the top and the bottom, ooh, they pop open like this. See, look at the versus the bottom. So that's what kind of can hold your thread. And then when you close it, oh, makes a fun noise. So I do like the popping noise. I know that may be silly, but uh, anything that makes a ratcheting noise or that, you know, does a popping noise, I kind of enjoy. I'm not gonna lie. So um, I, I feel bad at this point. I'm nine minutes in and I haven't said Ron or Connie or said hello to Ron and Connie yet. So I'm sorry, Ron, hello. 
Um, and FFO. FFO, Ron. That's what that is. Yay, yay me. Um, I will say, Ron, that you do now have fans in the Wednesday Stitching Group. They do ask. I was talking about an incident that was happening in the neighborhood where we have uh, new neighbors behind us. Not in front of us, not near Ron and Connie, but behind us. Like, basically in another neighborhood. Because um, we're a neighborhood inside the neighborhood. And they're loud. And um, they're not loud all the time, but when they are loud, they're really annoying. Um, so we had an incident over Easter holiday weekend, and I was telling the ladies about that. And the question was like, well, what does Ron think about this? I said, well, Ron is our neighborhood watch. However, <laughs> we are blocking his, his pathway to the noise. Um, so you're welcome, Ron and Connie. And when we get together, I'll tell you all about it. Um, Mike has some stories. If he hasn't already shared them. Um, so, I've been working on this. I did, I did most of the flowers, the two flowers finished uh, during Wednesday stitching. Um, I plan on stitching a little bit more probably tonight. But I do still have a pile of um, fabric on the cutting board and on the floor next to it that I really want to tackle and get neatened up so that way my next step would be to be able to go through some of the shelves that I have. Um, I also have this poor denim quilt. Ooh, my phone just fell. Uh, my denim quilt that I haven't really touched um, since I've talked about it a couple weeks ago. Um, so that's kind of been calling to me as well. So I need to get on to that. But uh, today, uh, one of the stitchers asked me to get my Tula Pink uh, quilt kit out for pining for you. Uh, so I got to pet all of that stuff. And I'm like, oh, I want to work on that. So basically what I'm saying is I need, need another week off. <laughs> um, which probably won't happen until July. I have vacation in June. Um, which I probably can get a couple of solid days of stitching in in between my weekend events. Um, but it's not a full week at home. But I can maybe squeeze them in. But July, birthday week, I might have to ask off and make sure I have a whole week at home or in the mountains. Quilt, quilt stitching retreat in Boom. Anyone? Anyone? Because um, that was a big hit a couple years ago. I'd be down for that again. Just, just saying. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. We're, we're ranging the $15 mark. We've had the lovely mowers in the background. It's a delightful spring day today. The doors and windows are open, which I will probably regret later um, because of my allergies have been crazy. Um, but you know, you got to play third caution to the wind from time to time. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, DC took in a fall in the pile of things to frame. To frame or not to frame? That is the question. Yeah, I feel like a, a really accomplished crafter and stitcher because there's a, a zillion things I could do without even going shopping. And I still want to go shopping. Um, I might, I've come up with a different plan for my ironing board. I, uh, I might, I might, um, uh, be buying something soon, too. I, I thought I was going to get rid of the ironing board. I had this whole plan, as we have previously discussed. Um, but I kind of feel like I don't want another board. But I really like the setup that I kind of have going on, which I don't think you can really... Oh, now, now you're seeing my ceiling. Oh, tragedy. Things are crazy. Do, 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 do. Well, we won't try that again. But, so, right, well, that's a little bit better view. So this is a little table, a little personal table. And I need to get kind of together. And then my ironing board right above it. Um, and then this is like where I sew. So I can be like right here, right here, right here. Kind of a scenario. Um, and this is actually surprisingly pretty nice. I would like to have um, 
make another shelf. But the ironing board is still too long for the space. Like I still have to kind of go sideways around it. So I think what I'm going to do is get another rack and then cut another board to go on top of it and be my sewing, my permanent sewing station. Um, and I think that will work out well and give me a little more walkway because it's always about the walkway. When I design closets, it's all about the walkway. You can't, you can't jam a $10,000 closet into something and have to walk sideways into it. Nobody wants that. Not even a $2,000 closet. Not even a $800 closet. Um, you don't want to have to walk sideways into your space. You want it to be functional, have room, have a, have a moment to be able to breathe. So that's kind of my continued goal in my sewing room. I have a lot of stuff in here and it all needs to work very functionally and smartly. So we're much closer with the cutting table, which is what I'm recording off of, but I need to, I need to solve this here. So there might be something shiny and new soon. Um, but I think that's about it. Yeah, I've had some lovely time off. Um, looking forward to going back to work. Um, I'm sure there's a lot waiting for me. And um, we're going to have some fun things going on. Continue stitching. Maybe, maybe because I'm picked up, maybe I'll come in and sew on my machine for a night. Which is very dusty. I need to, I need to get some dusting going on here. Uh, under the inside of my machine is pristine because I clean that out pretty religiously when um, I'm changing bobbins and such like that. Um, but uh, there's a lot of dust when you sew. So I need to clean up underneath it. There's a, what it sits on is a little dusty. And I can see a little dust on the top of the machine. So it might be time to get the dust cloth and do a little wipe down scenario situation. So um, I hope you all have a lovely week. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing and liking my stuff. Um, and I will see you next week. Until then, I hope you have a great stitching week. Bye.